morning friends and welcome back welcome if you are new my name is Anna so today we are decorating our coffee bar for summer many of you have already seen me do it once when I initially got my new table and shelf and there were some changes that I wanted to make um, you know I initially just wanted to get it decorated uh, but we're going to do it for summer today, add some freshness to it. I kind of wanted to do a 4th of July type, um, you know, coffee bar, but I don't really have the storage for a lot of extra mugs and that kind of stuff, so I've been hunting on Amazon for mugs that, um, you know don't necessarily say 4th of July or Independence Day more of a colonial look and I found plenty but the only thing is is that my summer mugs will get me through a much longer period as opposed to um, 4th of July mugs so I have to be really um, cautious of what I'm purchasing and how I'm gonna store it and all of that and I got a new buffet, which is acting as our TV stand, which is, you know, basically in the same room as the dining table and the sofa. And so I, that is where I'm going to be storing extra decor. So um, I don't have a lot of room. I, I have room, but I'd rather save that for like fall and Christmas because I didn't bring any of my Christmas decor or fall decor. So I'm gonna be buying new for everywhere, for every season. Um, but my goal is those little tiny, what are they? I have one sitting out on the balcony. They're, they're small tubs. Um, my goal is, is that each holiday, everything will fit in one of those because I can easily stack those in the closet out on the balcony. So. Anyway, so I did want to do a 4th of July, and I think that when we move into the bigger place next 4th of July, I'll be able to really do it up, because um, I'll have much more room there. Um, but here, I just don't, and like I said, I'd rather save the room for the big holidays. So we are going to do summer today. I think that summer is, um, it's actually today is the first day of summer, yes. Today is actually the day that I'm filming this. It is June 21st, and yeah, and then September 21st is the first day of fall, so it's a much longer season. So anyways, with that said, let me show you what we decided to do to get mugs so that I can hang mugs up here. So last time we decorated this, we did all of this here, and I went ahead and kept everything here because none of this is going to change, with the exception for those big holidays I talked about. This stuff will change, but as far as um, summer and that kind of thing, the only thing I'm going to be changing out is the plant that I had put here. Most of you guys um, remember I got it on clearance. I am going to use it here, but just not up here. Um, but I, I had talked about hanging hooks, mug hooks here, but we found this at Ikea, and I believe it's meant to go on a wall, and it ha comes with all of these hooks. I'm sorry it's loud in the background. I'm doing laundry. Small apartment. <laughs> Dual purpose here. Filming and laundry. Um, anyways, so Ernie said, why don't we just get this and I can attach it to the bottom, and it worked out perfectly. So it just kind of fills the space in. And then another thing that was bothering me was the cord. It was hanging down here. And I said I wasn't going to worry about it, but I kept worrying about it. So all I did, guys, is, you see this here? Painter's tape. I just strung it up so that you can't see it because this is pretty thick here. And I just put some painter's tape to hold it up. I don't have any thumbtacks, otherwise I would have just put a thumbtack there and hung it on that, but anyways, it frees up the space here so that I don't have to see a cord dangling. So anyways, this is the space that we are going to be decorating. So let's go ahead and get started. It is a hot one today. It's supposed to get up to 102, so I've already got the air on, so you might hear 
that kick on and off. But anyway, so the first thing that I want to do, I should turn this a little bit, is I want to show you guys what I'm going to end up putting here. And it is something that I've already used in an earlier tablescape, but I love the fact that you can just move things around, change the vessels that they're in, and have a completely new look for a different space. I love that. So let me show you what we're doing. So I had purchased these at Home Goods, sorry, Hobby Lobby, and it was when they had their table decor half off. This was originally, it's very heavy, very heavy and very big. And it was originally $49.99, but it was when they had their table, table decor half off, so I got it for half off that, so for $24. And I thought that it was a still. I got this one and a smaller one, which we're not using today, but we're gonna be using that. So we're gonna go ahead and place that here, but before we do that, my eucalyptus that I purchased at Kirkland Home. And I had this on my tablescape that I did earlier this year. And I love it. I love how this particular greenery is really loose and um, whimsical. It's not very stiff at all. And I, I got these at Kirkland Home and I believe they were $14.99 a stem. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, but they did have a 30 or 40 percent off that day so I got several so we're gonna go ahead and put these in that base and we're going to place that right up here fresh and airy and it just I love the gray it just it looks really good you guys it looks really airy really fresh very summer like so now I have never decorated with lemons before I mean I know that a lot of people um, do that for summer it's just you know kind of a summer look I've always thought that it was a little much um, and I don't want to offend anybody. I just feel like it can be overdone. <laughs> and um, maybe that was kind of the turnoff. But I was in Home Goods one day and I saw some lemon items and I was drawn to them and I just could not pass them up. So I got this really cute sugar and creamer set. I actually have a. Um, I don't know what it is. it's like a cover-up that I wear during the summer I like to go wine tasting or out to dinner during the summer so I think that this is why I was drawn to those because I love this this is so timeless it's just light and airy and perfect for summer and I think that's why I was I was really drawn to those dishes so we're going to just place those right up here just to bring I'm gonna be adding some more things down here so I want to bring the lemons up here to the top shelf so that everything is cohesive really cute don't they but now that we have those there I need to bring the lemons down here and on the same shelf that I found the coffee and creamer they had the mugs now I'm really picky about my mugs I will grab them like this I will grab them like this <laughs> I want to make sure that they're going to be a comfortable mug to hold on to and these were perfect although they are a little bit more wide mouth so your coffee is going to get colder quicker <laughs> but I don't care I love them and I thought these are so pretty to drink my coffee out of during the summer hey it's important what you drink your coffee out of 
It really is. So let's go ahead and hang those here. <laughs> this was a little bit harsh right here I don't know I just felt like it was a harsh you know I've got mugs hanging and then a lampshade um, so I found something at Ikea I did I mention this was from Ikea I think I did but I did find something in the same area where we found this um, that was allowing me to add some greenery here so they have these pots and these little hooks so the pot just sits inside here and you can hang them from really anywhere they've got so many different types of these things here but we found this and we're going to go ahead and hang that right here not going to leave it like that <laughs> but I loved that it allowed me to um, add something here where I can fill it up with greenery um, to just soften this up right here and I found this also at Ikea I knew that I wanted something that was long and whimsical and draped down because we have you know this wall here so I picked this up, so we're gonna go ahead and place that inside the vase. how that looks I like that it's whimsical and it drapes down and I don't have to water it I like that so it looks good now we're gonna work on the surface of the coffee bar this here now this is a functional space so I'm not gonna add a whole bunch of decor here I'm just going to add exactly what we need here which is our coffee our sweetener and our little whipper I did get a new whipper and I will show you guys that right now. I got this off of Amazon and I love it. I love that it has a stand. The one that we had before, we just found at Home Goods or something. We found it at Home Goods and it didn't have a stand and it was really, I, I don't even know where you put the batteries in, but it was a hit or miss. We've had it for a long time. Um, but I saw this one. I loved the color. I liked that it was white and would kind of just disappear over here. But even if it didn't disappear, it's just so pretty. Isn't it pretty? So we're going to be placing this, our coffee, and our creamer right here in the base. And that is it. We're not doing any more here. But don't worry. We still have a shelf down below we're going to do. but necessary I didn't want to crowd the space because we literally make our coffee right here so um, I think that it's simple it says what the area is used for and um, it's not cluttered or crowded so it makes it very comfortable to make a cup of coffee here now let's turn our attention down to the lower shelf one of the things that I did manage to bring with me because I knew that I was going to have a space for it somewhere 
I thought that I would use it on the bar top for fruits and vegetables. That didn't work out. Um, but I brought my dough bowl with me, and it's a rather large one. I got it at Home Goods, $59.99. I always leave my price tags on things, um, but I'm sure I got it there half off. Um, I never pay full price at Home Goods, but I loved the color of this one when I found it. I love that it was already super distressed. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that. That is the first thing that we're going to put down here in the bottom shelf. struggled with what I should put in that dough bowl. bowl. I, um, you know, contemplated leaving it empty, but there's just so much going on here that I can't get away with that. I've got to add something to that dough bowl. So um, I wanted to bring some green down below because we've got green here and green here. And so, and then a little bit in this blue and white um, vessel here. So I wanted to bring some green down here. And so I had brought these from the house as well. They are my linen blend napkins that I got from Hobby Lobby and these cute little, I believe this was part of their spring collection, napkin rings. So I thought I'll just place those inside the double. Because we've got the lemon theme going on up here, I had purchased lemons, faux lemons, a long time ago, you guys. I would, it's been over a year. Um, I saw them at Home Goods, a bag of them, and I said I might use these somewhere. Um, so just go ahead and purchase. They were a really great price. So I had them in my coffee bar, beneath my coffee bar um, at the house. And when I was packing, I tossed them in the basket of stuff that I was going to bring here to the apartment with me because I thought, you know what, summer's coming. I might want to use them for something in the kitchen or somewhere. So um, anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and place these in the dough bowl along with the napkins to bring the lemon theme all the way down. I'm really liking the whole lemon thing. Even if I just do it for this year, I'm really enjoying it. It's fun to work with. It just adds a little fresh spark to a spot. So we're not done yet because um, I could just leave that dough bowl there just the way that I did it. Um, I've said this time and time again, when you're decorating a shelf, you want to decorate in odd numbers and one would be an odd number. Um, but I, I can't just leave one item there because that's just not how I roll. I have this wood bowl that I picked up at Home Goods for $15. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but it's got a lot of detail in it. And I thought it was so pretty. And I could just set that there, but that would be boring. So. I had a arrangement with three um, green spheres, spheres in it um, in the bathroom and I got rid of that but I saved the greenery. So they just came right out of the styrofoam and I thought, you know what, every once in a while I want to pop a green somewhere, I'm going to hang on to these. And I'm glad that I did because it fits so perfectly in there and it's like a little topiary. So we're gonna go ahead and place that next to the dough bowl. It's 
looking so good. I love it. Okay, so now I want to place something on the other side of the dough bowl, and I have three options. So I did, I did um, go to a wholesale flower shop this weekend on Father's Day. God bless my husband. I, he knew I was so excited to find one. Um, so he, he was like, yeah, we can go. I said, but it's Father's Day. And he said, that's okay. So we went and I was so excited. And I went and made, bought um, a couple of vessels and I will show them to you. But I made three flower arrangements. And so I have three options of what I can put on the other side. I can put a faux plant. I have two faux plants I can put there and then one of my fresh flower arrangements. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put all three there, one at a time, and I'm gonna let you guys let me know in the comments which one you prefer the most. <laughs> but you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments. So I wanna show you guys the arrangements that I made up close. So here's the first one that I made and I love it so much and I got the vessel to put it in. It's so pretty. So I decided to take the hydrangea off and just show off my flower arrangement. Looks so pretty here which has been living on my counter. It looks so pretty. I love the vessel. So pretty. This is number three. Ernie found this vase for me at Hobby uh, Home Goods. It's made in Italy and so pretty. I just love the details of it. I don't know if you can, it's kind of hard to get a good view of her. There we go. <clears throat> but as soon as, as soon as I saw it, I was like, it needs, I'm not a floral arranger, so don't laugh at my flowers. <laughs> I just love free handing it. So, um, Anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed putting this together, my summer coffee bar. If you have any questions about any of the items that you saw today, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to answer those for you. But I typically shop at Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, and Kirkland Home. <laughs> those are my, you know, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Kirkland Home are like my three to go to places. So. I'm pretty sure almost everything here came from one of those three stores. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration for your coffee bar this summer, and we will catch you in the next video. Bye.